On today's show, we're actually going to talk about a couple different topics. One is the release of Caliccio Semele, which hasn't happened yet, but the probable release of Caliccio Semele, the offensive guard. Um, also, we are going to be covering how Johnny Holton was just picked up by the Philadelphia Eagles to a future reserve contract. Also, on the show as well today, there is a possibility that Odell Beckham Jr. being traded to the Raiders. Gotcha. So welcome to another Raiders podcast with me, Jeremiah Hamilton, and we're going to be talking about some Raiders football today. If you like our videos, like and subscribe to our channel, and Odell Beckham Jr. being traded to the Raiders for Derek Carr. Possible picks included to be determined. So, we'll go ahead and start off with that one, because if this one's the one that I think is basically the most bogus out of them so far. OBJ for Derek Carr. Why would the Giants give up their best receiver when they just sign him to a multi-year deal? Like, basically, we discussed this in our free agent video. If you haven't seen that already on our channel, go ahead and check it out. But basically, what I think, if they traded for Derek Carr, it's kind of a waste. And that they signaled that Kyler Murray to be the possible pick of the Raiders this year so that they would have their quarterback already and OBJ would be one of his weapons. Theory sounds good in, in startup, but is Kyler Murray really going to pan out to be a great NFL quarterback? Is he Baker Mayfield? Is he Pat Mahomes? And if he's Pat Mahomes, didn't Pat Mahomes sit behind Alex Smith for a couple years? Or for at least a year? I know for at least a year he sat behind him, so wouldn't you want Derek Carr to be his mentor and already understanding Gruden a little bit, giving him some insight into how the system's going to be ran and everything? Why would you give up Derek Carr? Like, I could understand giving up one of our first-round picks for OBJ and, and a couple other picks maybe in this draft for OBJ and getting Derek Carr a weapon. But don't trade... No, 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 no. Do not trade Derek Carr for OBJ. There's no point to that. Kyler Murray, if you're going to draft Kyler Murray anyways, I say that you turn him into... So there was a guy on the Steelers a couple years ago called Cordero Stewart. Cordero Stewart was a, a quarterback in college, and then when he came to the pros, he became a wide receiver. You can use him like that. He's fast enough. He's athletic enough. He can move around the formation a lot. Um, kind of like Danny Amendola was for the Patriots. You could use him like that and then groom him as a quarterback over time like what they did with Cordero Stewart over in Pittsburgh. I highly doubt that that's probably going to happen and I highly doubt that Gruden would probably be okay with that. If he's going to draft a quarterback, he's going to use him as a quarterback. Now, why would we draft a quarterback when we have so many glaring needs on defense still? This is a defensive driven league. The defenses have shown up in the last round. We'll see how that happens this week in the playoffs, but I have a good feeling that this is a bad idea. If you want to go draft picks for OBJ, go for it. If you want to trade Derek Carr away, bad move. On to the other one, Johnny Holton to the Eagles. Now, this is sad. Johnny Holton was one of those guys that you kind of rooted for. He got a couple touchdowns in, in their big years, and, and basically was a glowing spot last year when they were kind of terrible when the whole line debacle was going on Johnny Holton was kind of a bright spot for the team especially when Cooper's dropping balls and Crabtree was dropping balls this guy was out there being the deep route catcher for Carr at the end of the season and seeing him go to the Eagles is kind of sad but you know more power to him he's got to stay in the league as long as he can so Colegio Semele so the, the news is is that the Raiders are expected to part ways with offensive guard Kalechi Assembly this offseason, which would save a 10 million cap hit, basically, this year. I'm agreeing with this because I believe that Kalechi is more of a power blocker, and he doesn't fit the zone scheme that they're trying to fit in with the Oakland Raiders right now. If, if he was more of a zone player and they brought him in there as a tackle, I could understand it, but he only plays on the left side. He's kind of stubborn with that. He's not going to get to play the tackle position on the left side because Colton Miller is 
firmly cemented himself for next season at that position. Left guard, on the other hand, could you get uh, somebody to play as well as him for probably half that money this offseason? Yeah, he probably could. And as far as good as he played last season when he was hurt, and you didn't really have him all season long, I think that this is, would be a good release at this point. Another great release that I had looked up earlier, silverandblack.com had a whole article about that. Um, I really went through the list of players, and Donald Penn was one of them. I was happy to see him on that list. Seth Roberts kind of falling back on his... Uh, on his great year when he first came into the league and Derek Carr was lighting it up. But now he's kind of regressed and I could see his immediate release next season. Those three guys right there just being gone off the team and getting some new players into that spot I think would really help our Raiders team. And basically, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on all this though. Like, what do you think about Kalechi being gone or, how, or what players would you like to see gone this offseason? Please answer in the comments below, and if, like I said in the very beginning of the video, if you like this video, like and subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys next week on another Raiders video for sure. I might post one earlier, depending on what news comes out, but at least this one will get you guys your Raiders fix in the meantime, so go Raiders.